uh, XX would be female. Now what's interesting is that um, when we look at what it is about a Y chromosome that triggers development, it's not, it's not that there are genes on the Y chromosome that produce a male. In fact, all of you females that are out there have all the genes necessary to have developed into a fully functioning male, but those genes weren't turned on. They're not expressed. Similarly, all you guys out there, get in touch with your feminine size a little bit, we have all the genes necessary that we could have developed into a fully functioning female as well. What the Y chromosome has is a gene that triggers male development. So it turns on, it's a switch, if you will, that determines male development. So on the Y chromosome, this gene, it's called the sex determining. Have, have I told you this story before? Sex determining region on the Y chromosome. I can't remember if we did this in anatomy. Did we do this in anatomy? No? Um, this was discovered uh, by actually by a group of 